Dear students, in this module, we shall discuss the resting membrane potential. Dear students, every non-excited or resting cell has a potential difference across its membrane. That is known as the resting membrane potential. The values of resting membrane potential vary in different types of cells. For example, the neurons, which are not conducting any impulse, have a typical minus 70 millivolt resting membrane potential. Now, we shall have a view of the ions which are responsible to cause resting membrane potential. You know that plasma membrane is permeable to many species of ions. All these diffusible ions affect membrane potential across the uh, membrane in proportion to their permeability. However, non-diffusible ions have no effect on resting membrane potential. The major ions which are involved in producing the resting membrane potential are the sodium, potassium and chloride ions. अब हम उन इक्वेशंस का जिक्र करेंगे जिनकी मदद से हम मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल प्रोड्यूस करने में किसी भी एक आयन या मल्टीपल आयंस का इफेक्ट कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं। To calculate the effect of single ion on generating resting membrane potential, we use an equation that is called Nernst equation. While to calculate the effect of multiple ions on membrane potential, we use Gold's Mann's equation. Both these equations apply equally to all excitable cells that is neurons and muscle cells. First, we shall discuss the Nernst equation, which is used to calculate the effect of single ion on the equilibrium potential of the membrane. According to Nernst equation, the equilibrium potential of a diffusible ion X depends on the nature log of the ratio of concentration of ion X on two sides of the membrane, that is, inside and outside the membrane. Iske lava, membrane potential, gas constant, R, absolute temperature, yani T, valence of the ion, Z, or Friedek constant per B depend karta hai, so that we can read the Nernst equation as Ex, that is, equilibrium potential of diffusible ion X is equal to RT over ZF into log of concentration X inside the membrane over concentration of X outside the membrane. Now, the Goldsman equation is used to determine the effect of multiple ions on membrane potential. Ye equation kafi hat tak nursed equation se milti julti hai. Taham is me mukhtlif ions ki inside and outside concentrations ko add kar liya jata hai aur is tarah se hume multiple ions ka equilibrium potential of the membrane par effect calculation me mil jata hai. Dear students, now we shall discuss the role of ion channels in maintaining the resting membrane potential. Two types of ion channels, that is the resting potassium selective channels and the voltage gated sodium channels play major role in producing and maintaining the resting membrane potential. 
first we shall discuss the role of potassium selective channels. The potassium selective channels remain open in the resting membrane. They do not close. So the membrane is highly permeable to potassium ions. Is vaja se agar potassium ions ki concentration cell ke bahir wali side par change ho jaye to cell membrane aur uska potential is cheez se highly sensitive hai aur ye change ho jata hai. While the role of sodium channel is in this fact that they remain closed in the resting membrane, uh, resting membrane. Due to this, the membrane, resting membrane remains relatively non-diffusible to sodium ions. Isi wajah se, agar cell ke bahir sodium ions ki concentration tabdeel ho jaye, to uska membrane potential ke upar koi zyada effect nahi hota. Dear students, in addition to the effect of ions and ion channels, there is one other factor that has a major role in establishment of resting membrane potential. And that phenomena is the active transport. Active transport moves ions against their concentration gradient. So, it results in asymmetrical distribution of ions. The asymmetrical distribution of ions is the basis of resting membrane potential. 